of Caleb Platt proves me wrong. I was thinking, hey, he could pip um, Canelo's face all night, you know, like tap his face all night and not even hurt Canelo, but frustrate him enough that he can throw a punch back, hey, just by um, tapping his face all night. But I don't know, that's his only chance, hey, and, and I'd give him, like, fuck, it's highly unlikely he'll knock Canelo out, hey. I just can't see that, hey. But there's every, every chance that Canelo will spark him clean, eh? Hey. Will put him to sleep or break his ribs. Something like that, eh? Hey. I think is going to be the outcome. If it's going to be a stoppage, I don't think Canelo's going to win all points. But if Platt surprises me, he'll surprise me and, and pinch it on points from tapping Canelo's face all night and running. But, yeah, I don't think he's fast enough to do that. That Platt was going to be overmatched. And that has not been the case. And Al I still think Alvarez, <clears throat> with his constant forward pressure and his head movement, is extremely dangerous and is, I mean, these are two guys that are the best in the division with everything on the line. Under a minute left here in the eighth. And you see Canelo stepping in. You see the jab by Plant. As you see in the right, the left uppercut by Canelo, the right uppercut, but that right uppercut, it was a grazing shot by Canelo. He's got to get the knockout to make it convincing because it's been a tough fight for him to stand out. Caleb Platt has been hiding behind this jab and moving around the ring and he's been doing what he's supposed to do. It's kind of boring, but that's what he's supposed to do, right? Oh, he's hurt. Damn. And that, oh boy, he's hurt. Just as I see that. He. Big shot by Canelo Alvarez. Caleb Platt down. Finish. Canelo looking for the finish. Finish him. Platt might be out on his feet. Platt might be out on his feet. Big right. Finish him. Canelo looking for the finish. Canelo looking to finish up. Caleb Platt. And down goes Platt. And this one is over. And the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez, as he finishes off Caleb Platt with a high life reel. Pretty much cool today. Caleb Platt did really well sticking behind his jab and like moving for uh, most of the fight, but you know, eventually that ring gets smaller when your legs get tired and um. And then it's up to your body after that if you can block your body and your face. Because he ate some lift, some solid lift. Don't say all glancing blows, really, eh? He ate them. Even the one that hurt him was a glancing blow, but you can't just eat those all night, eh? Because eventually they'll start hurting. And I think that's what happened, eh? Eventually they started hurting and um, he ended up testing the canvas. But I don't know. He's got nothing to be ashamed of, eh? He put up a good fight. He did way better than most people expected him to, but. And Ken Platt showed up, you know, showed he's the man and he's up there. He's, he's someone to be fucked with. I was watching YouTube and I, I saw that they were like saying that the, it was a premature stoppage, the Caleb Plan and Canelo fight. But I think that's bullshit. Um, if they could have allowed it to go on and he would have been knocked the fuck out clean. You know, it's the same as Deontay Wilder. If they had let it carry on, Caleb Plant might come back a vegetable next time and, you know, like Deontay Wilder, you know, he might come back as damaged goods because, you know, the punishment he took, unnecessary punishment he took because of pride, they almost killed him. You know, sometimes, bro, you got to think about your health and shit like that, eh? And whoever's trying to hate on Canelo's win is just being a fucking hater, really. Because there was nothing wrong with the stoppage. Even Caleb Plant was happy with that because he did well, but he, he was the defeated man. Simple. And Caleb Platt fulfilled his that promise to his daughter anyway, so good on him, he became a champion. <laughs>